Kimball, do you think that, that you've done enough to earn the starting job at cornerback? I, mean, I guess you could say so. I mean, I don't really try to worry about it. You know I mean, I just go out there, practice hard every single day, um, preseason games, make sure I give it all I got and give it all I got and just let the coach decide on what they want to decide on. What do you think has been the number one thing for your personal growth coming in as a rookie last year to where you're at right now? Um, just having that confidence. Um, just make sure I'm out there trusting my technique that I've been working on all offseason and just putting it out there on the field and letting it all loose can't just create confidence, though. Do you think it kind of stems from some of the plays that you made last year late in the season when you came in? Yeah, definitely that. And um, coming in here at OTAs, having that same confidence, making plays and practice and stuff like that. So it all carries over. Is there ever a time that you doubted whether you could fit it and perform at this level, or did you just need to see it actually happen? No, I never had any doubt. Um, just wait on that opportunity. And when the opportunity comes, just run with it and don't look back. Has Sean Desai's uh, influence on this, the coordinator, has that changed things for you at all? And has that had any impact that, that you can tell even before playing the game? Not for the most part, because I, uh, I had him in the secondary room um, last year with the safety coach. So just hearing all the things he had to say um, when I was around him a lot and, and now this year has carried over. So um, just being around him, he's done a great job and he's got a lot of things that he's switching up on his own that's going to really help benefit, benefit us this year. You know, he has a death in the family and he goes home. Today. As somebody who's become a friend of his but grew up kind of idolizing, do you reach out to him, tell him you're thinking of him? What's that interplay been like? Yeah, yeah definitely. I'm um, just making sure that he's doing good and everything. Um, our DB coach, he's been keep having us updates and let us know how he's doing and stuff like that as well. So um, it'll be good to have him back whenever we get that chance. I know he had that or that he's dealing with. So, Kendall, you've mentioned you before that you're close with Jalen. Uh, what, what can you learn from him, both from – Watching him last year go through almost a full season, and then also just this training camp. Yeah, man, we're real close. I mean, so I'm, I pretty much I asked him questions how he felt out there when he was getting that first start and everything like that. Just like when I was um, when I first started playing, he got hurt. He was helping me out a lot as well, him and Cal. So um, me and him both being young, we got a young mindset and then a lot of new things that we think we bring to the table that we can help benefit and learn from, help each other. Kendall, Jayla mentioned last week Kyle as well. What did, what did you learn being around Kyle Fuller about their approach to things? Um, he's a real student of the game. I mean, he's someone that you first time you walk in the building, he's going to have the iPad on him watching the film. In the meeting room, he's going to be watching the film. So that's something that I really took from him that I'm implementing in myself. When you hear people talk about cohesiveness, a lot of people talk about like an offensive line working together. What's it like with the secondary? How important is that? And can you give an example of like maybe something that happens during the course of a game where all four of you have to be on the same page? Yeah, yeah. I mean, in the secondary, you you have to be on the same page because if one person makes a mistake, it's it's a touchdown. And everybody sees it. So, um, just that practice that we got, making sure that we practicing, learning everything, that we all on the same page and watching the film, so we we know we can't give up no mistakes out there. You know, when will you dig into Rams offense film? I pretty much already started um, after the last preseason game, watched that. And um, when I got back home, I was just watching um, their preseason game and stuff like that. So me personally, I've already been started. What are the first things you dial in on when you start with them? Um, just seeing different teams that they have on offense, seeing what they run, and this personnel, three by one or two by two, seeing their favorite plays. So I know in the preseason, they probably wasn't showing all their offense, but I mean, it'll, it'll still come up in the game. Does, it, does the knowledge of Matthew Stafford help at all? Yeah, I, I think for sure it does. I mean, we played them twice last year. That, my, my, that was my first time, but we played them twice last year, and a lot of guys on the team have been playing them for years now, so they know what type of quarterback he is and the things that he likes to do. Can you tell in the preseason when they're kind of deking you, when they're kind of trying to show you something just to put it out there, you know what I'm saying? Is it difficult to tell exactly what's real and what's not? And, and Yeah, yeah, it kind of is, and then sometimes they might not have their starters out there as well and everything too, so you just got just to gotta see. See what you're looking at. Have you followed Deshaun Jackson's career at all? Are you at all excited about potentially covering him on something like this? Um, a, a little bit, a little bit. Um, because I know um, I also watch Michael Vick as well too. When he, um, because I'm from Atlanta and everything, I know he played with the Eagles and them two was together. So I seen a little bit of him and everything. So, and I was actually um watching All American a little show on Netflix and he was actually on the show. So that was kind of crazy too. Like, oh, I didn't know he was gonna be on there. So that was kind of cool. Is it? I don't know whether you had this experience last year, but lining up against somebody that like you watched as a kid, like is that weird? Yeah, it, it, it does be kind of weird at times. It's like, oh, it's not like he's right here. But, I mean, when you out there, you just going out there, you playing, you competing, and you, you know what I mean, having fun.
Do you have a moment last year where you, where you saw somebody on the field uh, in, in Lent in I would probably say we played the Saints, um, Michael Thomas. So I was just like, dang, you know what I mean? But hey, got to go out there and ball, make plays. I mean, we we the same out there. Are you glad to get those kind of things out of the way early last year so that now you feel like, okay, I've been there, done that? Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. I'm ready to go out there, compete, and just show everybody what I can do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.